During the flutter or flight vibration test, the A380 crew must push the air time in the entire life of the airplane. And you're much happier when it's over. The flutter test is the only test where the flight crew must wear parachutes, helmets, and orange jumpsuits to aid identification should the worst happen. While the aircraft makes its way to a test area over southwest France, the monitoring equipment on board is already sending back information to the staff manning the telemetry station. Here, ex-pilots, engineers and specialists study and analyze every imaginable parameter of the aircraft. Nearly 150,000 parameters are monitored every single second. Former fighter pilot Daniel Giraud Sova is the director of the A380 telemetry station. When you're in telemetry, we are living the moment. We hear the flight test engineers, so you are in the aircraft. So uh, it's very important to follow up all the tests in telemetry because we can, uh, we can help the flight crew, flight member, flight test engineers and uh, to, uh, to optimize the flight test campaign and to be sure of the results of the flight test campaign. To achieve certification, the A380 must reach just below Mach 1, the speed of sound, without experiencing abnormally strong vibrations. The only way to achieve this speed is to climb to 38,000 feet, then descend as rapidly as possible. It will take them several attempts, as increment by increment, they edge ever closer to a speed just below the infamous sound barrier. As the aircraft reaches its first major speed outside the flight envelope, Mach 0.89, the cockpit begins to shudder, but the flight crew know that this kind of vibration is normal. The A380 has survived its first extreme test. Now the flight crew and engineers feel safe to push on towards the more dangerous speeds. Somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean, the A380 inches its way towards its target speed. Mach 0.92. Mach 0.93. But suddenly they hear a noise. Chief test pilot Jacques Rosé has felt a twitch. After a quick consultation between the air and the ground, the flight crew decide to immediately halt the test. As soon as the A380 touches down, the crew hurry under the aircraft, where they quickly find the source of the problem. Because of the extreme vibrations, a large section of the undercarriage has become detached. Could definitely do without. Toulouse, southwest France. The Airbus A380, the world's first super jumbo, has suffered a giant setback. During a series of flutter tests, the test flight team set out to ensure that the plane could reach its ultimate theoretical speed of Mach 0.96. But at Mach 0.93, a large section of the undercarriage nearly tore off the bottom of the plane, forcing Airbus engineers to come up with a major redesign of the entire section. The operation has caused another setback in the arduous 15-month-long flight test campaign. Now, with the renovation coming to completion, Aircraft One can finally resume the highly dangerous tests. There's a lot of unknowns. We haven't been there before, so uh, all we have is the predictions and the tests done by the design office. Uh, and now uh, all that is only predictions, and now it's up to us to go and see what the real airplane has inside. After a final ground check, 
the A380 test flight crew set off for what is without a doubt the most dangerous flight of the whole campaign. Back in the telemetry room, everyone is manning their post. They all know that failure is not an option. As the flight test crew pushed the A380 towards Mach.96, the slightest abnormal vibration could cause serious damage or even complete destruction of the aircraft. Mach.94, Mach.95. The A380 begins to tremble relentlessly, but with the aircraft holding together, the crew members try to shake off their nerves. <laughs> Reassured that they can attempt the final push, the crew takes one more dive. Within seconds, the aircraft hits the ultimate speed of Mach.96. In the telemetry room, the engineers celebrate the fact that their aircraft is now flutter test certified. Je suis bien content. Je suis bien content. Oh, Fernando, are you happy? Oh, very happy, very, very happy. <laughs> we have, uh, we took good care of him. Eh? He took good care of us also.